Hello and welcome back to Shay's Builds Podcast. Hi, I am Shalan, aka Shay. Nice to meet you. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, um, thank you for coming back. Now, today's episode, as you can tell from the title, is an unsolved murder episode. Uh, and it's based on two true stories here in Ireland. Um, it is on two... Roman Catholic priests that has happened nearly over a hundred years ago so they're a long time ago let's say um and these are their two stories so the first one is Father Michael Griffin and the second is Father Niall Malloy if if I'm pronouncing it right I hope I am anyway we're gonna start with Father Griffin let's do this so, Father Griffin uh, was born on the 18th of September in 1892 in Gertine in County Galway to his parents, Thomas George Griffin, a farmer, and Mary Coyne. Now, Griffin was ordained in St. Patrick's College in Minute in 1917. He served in the Diocese of Galway uh, in Kilmacdora and Kilfnora. I'm sorry if I pronounced them wrong. Um, now, in June in 1918, the curate was transferred from the parish to Ennis Mon in County Clare, then to Rahoon in Galway City. Now, on the night of the 14th of November in 1920, during the Irish War for Independence, Griffin, known as a Irish Republican sympathiser, was taken from his home, where he was questioned on on items that we are unsure of. Now on the 20th of November his body was found in an unmarked grave in a bog at Clog Scolotia. Now I don't I definitely butchered that and I'm so sorry if you're from there. Uh, near Barony. I am shocking with Irish. This is why I didn't take him or take Irish. Anyway he was being shot in the head now, Father Griffin was only 28, so he was incredibly young. Uh, on 23rd of November, after uh, Father Griffin's funeral mass at St. Joseph's, Joseph, gosh, I can't pronounce anything today, apparently, uh, the funeral was cortaged and took place through the streets of Galway. There were three bishops, 150 priests, and an excess of 12,000 more. Mormon, more, blah, 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 blah. ah, lads, this is not going well, sorry, uh, mormons. More mourners? Jeannie Mac, like, I'm so sorry. Um, the reasons for the killing of uh, Father Griffin remains unclear. Uh, one suggestion is that it was a reprisal for the killing of Patrick W. Joyce by the Irish Republican Army, or known as the IRA, uh, a month earlier, and the priest's body was deliberately dumped near Barna, where Joyce had been a principal in the local primary school. Now, while over 40 Catholic clergy was arrested for a variety of offences during the revolution years, the killing of a priest was rare and sensational. Now, between 1916 and 1921, four were killed in violent circumstances. Father Felix Waters was president of the Catholic University University School in Dublin, was shot in Haddington Road during the 1916 Rising and died of freezing wounds. Now, in mid-December in 1920, Canon Thomas Magner, priest um, in Dunmamoy in Cork, uh, was shot on the roadside by a member of an, uh, an auxiliary division rick. Now, I don't know what that is. I should probably look that up. Um, to be fair, there was all these different regiments at the time. Uh, during 1916. Um, I still haven't figured out all of them. Uh, he was later deemed insane. Now the same officer had killed an innocent civilian before Canon Magner. Uh, happened on the scene in 1921. Uh, Father James O'Connell was fatally wounded during the raid on the home of Liam D. Rusty TD. Definitely butchered his surname. I am sorry once again. <laughs> uh, where he rented a room. Now, my question is, obviously the debt wasn't unnecessary, but what was the reason? Was the IRA lurking around, thinking this fella here obviously had a problem? Was he diving into something that he shouldn't? 
um, was someone from his community was giving him information on the IRA or something going on. I, I don't know. It's, it's it's unsure, let's to be fair. Uh, I mean, the IRA have numerous murders and killings and disappearance of men, women and children during the years uh, from that that time but also up to nearly the 70s and 80s let's say um they're quiet now but we don't know and to be fair i'm a bit scared um yeah <laughs> uh now the second priest we're going to be talking about is father niall malloy 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 let's just go with malloy now he was born on the 14th of april in 1933 in county roscommon now he was killing a mysterious circumstances in Kilcorsey House in Clara in County Offal. Offaly. 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 Goodness me. Uh, on the 8th of July in 1985, he was aged 52 then. And now Malloy was a parish priest in Castle Toot in County Roscommon at the time of his death. Now, Father Niall Malloy was staying at the home of Richard and Therese Flynn. He was a childhood friend of Therese and both of them had a l- love of horses. And when the guardie did arrive, the or the police, if you're not from Ireland, uh, they found that there were signs of violence in the Flynn's bedroom and that there was a large blood stain on the carpet. Now, the priest died that day after the wedding of the Flynn's daughter, Ma- Maureen. Richard Flynn was charged for manslaughter and was a, um, and with actual bodily harm, but the judge at his trial and a family friend directed the jury to not, to give a not- Guilty. God, I can't read it. Give a not guilty verdict. Verdict. Oh my God, I can't talk today. I'm so sorry. What's going on with me? In 2011, a medical um, examination of the brain tissue kept after the original post mortem revealed that there was a high probability. Jeez, I can't talk. I'm so sorry. That the priest was alive up to six hours after the initial attack. Therefore, there might have been uh, medical help was there, would have been summoned, he might have been alive. Now, here's a strange thing. Uh, in around 2011 and 2012, new evidence was found by the Gardaí, saying that valuable items belonging to the priest, including several paintings and a horse, vanished after his death. Now, his father passed away before he died, um, and he then inherited his father um wealth which was sixty thousand pounds um and he used some of that money to start a new business now they're also saying that uh <laughs> the trial of richard flynn the defense said that there was a possible that father malloy had died from a heart failure this led to judge frank Rowe, a great friend of the families involved to direct the jury yeah less than four hours which I think is absolutely marvellous. Um, along with that, there was new witnesses of the Flynn's home. A surgeon and a Fianna Fáil politician had been at the house when it happened, which is absolutely crazy, if I may say. Uh, it also emerged the judge had known the defendant in the trial. Obviously, we know that now. Um, uh, the Malloy family do not believe that the Richard Flynn killed Father Malloy. Like, that, th- th- then what's what if it was it a murder what was it i'm so confused <laughs> like okay he was arrested flynn was arrested because of the judge the freaking jury oh lads this favoritism thing is annoying anyway my questions are well i wrote it down <laughs> was was the death of father Malloy just down to his health or was someone in the house was aware of his inheritance and the extra load of money he had? Did he want to steal it off him? Was it a family member? Who knows? Anyway, um, did Father Malloy upset someone with a comment at the wedding the day prior? We will never know, but there are my questions. Um, I know it's a really short episode. I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying to... What my problem is, I am on a subscription to, for my podcast to upload these um and i only have a certain amount of gigabytes and if i do for example a full half hour episode 
of a podcast it takes majority of my space and I can only upload maybe one podcast episode so I'm trying to get at least three done uh, each month uh, that's the plan so they're a little bit more shorter than my prior podcast episodes I've had so I do apologize um anyway thank you for listening for this short 10 minute podcast <laughs> um hopefully I'm gonna do more um if you enjoyed it um I have I did have actually other Irish history deaths, but the majority of them were due to gang relations, uh, of assassinations, really. Um, and I didn't really want to do them because Irish gangs get enough air on TV and stuff. <laughs> no offence. Um, don't forget, um, the podcast is uh, on now Spotify and Apple P- Podcasts. So if you have... Apple Podcasts, and uh, it would be I'd be so grateful if you could review my podcast on there and give it a few stars. Um, I'm also now on Deezer and Google Podcasts as well. Uh, my next thing is I'm gonna try to get on Amazon Podcasts. That's my next aim. So I hopefully get that soon. Um, um, what else? I would appreciate the support if you could share it um, on those apps um, and networks and share it with your family and friends, obviously. Um, I did say on my last episode in the time travels, I'm streaming uh, video games on Twitch. So if you ever do want to hop on and have a look at me, I'm nearly live every day, uh, except the days I am working. Um, so it is Shalano. I'll put it into my text there on the podcast so you can look it up. All the information I rece- received um, in this podcast episode was down to RT and Wikipedia. So just let you know. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, mind yourselves and stay safe during COVID. I know it's still a tough time to be uh, working around. Um, I know everyone's struggling in December. Uh, and I definitely know people are more struggling this month in February. Uh, we're gonna get through this, don't worry. Um, it's not hopefully gonna be a long time. That doesn't make sense, does that? Does, no, it doesn't. I'm just, my brain is talk. My mouth's talking for my brain, which is not great. I do apologize. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Um, mind yourself. Stay safe. Don't forget to wear a mask. Um, and oh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Chalan. No, not Chalan. She spills podcast. God, I was promoting my Twitch there again. Anyway, mind yourselves. I'll see you all soon. Bye.